Hello beautiful people and welcome to the 4th edition of the Burn On Vlog. And also, happy May the 4th! Woo! May the 4th be with you guys! Yeah! So Tripp, tell us what you got coming up for us today. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Kentucky Derby and how California Chrome, uh, I guess the story of the California Chrome, and that's the horse that won the Kentucky Derby yesterday. And uh, for me, I'll be talking about all these Game 7s and specifically the LA Clippers Game 7 last night. Well, if you have a very sad full sale involved lives, I guess, uh, you find yourself working very late on Saturdays. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, we got in, got to watch the tail end of that Game 7 with the Clippers and the Warriors, and that was amazing. It was neck and neck throughout. I mean, especially the last quarter. Oh, the last yeah. last quarter was nuts. Yeah, my favorite part of that game was uh, at the end, Doc Rivers just started going eight. I mean, he's been to the finals twice. This isn't a new thing for him. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely familiar territory, and I mean... He definitely he had to do something to like get the team pumped up. I mean, especially with all the uh, the Donald Sterling racism claims and stuff. Exactly. You know, and that's the crazy thing about it in that this first round win was one of the biggest of his career because how he was able to motivate his guys. Yeah. No. I mean, I. It's interesting. I'd like to know exactly what he said to them to kind of get their minds off of it. Yeah, they had a closed door meeting. No one knows for sure. But one thing is for sure, the Donald Sterling case shows us two commandments of life. One, racist comments can ruin your life. The older and wider you are, the worse. Yeah, that's for sure. Item number two, side chicks can ruin your life. The older and almost wider you are, the worse. Exactly, they <laughs> almost always do, do Mm-hmm. We know. <laughs> so for those of you who aren't really into horse racing, yesterday was the 140th Kentucky Derby in Lexington. The winner it was California Chrome, uh, which actually is from California, obviously, really? hence the name. But that happens to be the second horse from California that's actually won since 1962. Oh, did he have bro flow? He definitely did have bro flow, and it was a little bit sweaty near the end, but uh, okay. you know, to be expected, I guess. So California Chrome is actually owned by a company called DAP, which stands for Dumbass Partners. Yeah. So I mean, what's the first thing you want to do when somebody calls you a dumbass? Well, buy a horse. Of course you want to buy a horse, right? Of course. That's the, that's the next logical step. So these dumbasses, like, buy this really overpriced horse, hence the name Dumbass for Dumbass Partners, and next thing you know, they're, they're winning $2 million in the Kentucky Derby six years later. Yes, they started off as the victims of horseflation and have now made back. I think that's actually the first recorded instance of horseflation. Well, you know, I'm sure back in the 12th century or something, horses were, horse stocks were pretty high before they had cars. Well, yeah, I think back then they hadn't really evolved into actual horses. They were still like miniatures, right? I thought they had wings. Another heartwarming story about this all is uh, there's a father-son training team that this is actually their first win. Yeah, this is the, yeah, this is their first horse that they've actually entered into a competition and it was profitable. Yeah, so, I mean so. they're 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 gonna be living pretty handsomely for the next Kentucky Derby, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, that about wraps up our May 4th edition of the Burn On Vlog. Uh, if you like our stuff, subscribe to it. Uh, we promise we're pretty cool guys. Yeah, may the fourth be with you. Got Dave's Insanity, which is the second colon blow, which is the most.